Hey guys, Red Eyes here, and I thought I'd just add on a quick warning to the start of the video. Uh, warning, there is no redstone in this video. Uh, I know lots of people are expecting it, but because I've been away for so long, I was having a really tough time recording and just needed to make this sort of uh, more traditional LP, I guess. So I'm uh, finding a new base and uh, trying to make portals, that kind of thing. I hope you all enjoy it. Hey guys, Red Eyes here, and I'd like to welcome you back to the Hermitcraft server. So it's been a very long time since I made a Hermitcraft LP. Uh, the last one I made, I think, was about three and a half months ago on the old map. And yeah, I thought it was about time I made another one. Also, you should know, uh, in the summer I get very busy with work. Uh, it's like 24-7, so I can't even play and most of September I'm going to be working as well, so that kind of sucks. But for the next few weeks I have some time off and I'm going to make the most of it. So, um, as you can see I have enchanted tools um, already, you know, I've got stuff on me. Uh, I've been through the nether, uh, that's how I got to this new area here. I have been playing on the map for a few months, um, on and off, and yeah, I'm pretty well equipped, actually. And that's kind of good, because it's going to allow me to do a few of the projects I want to do quite quickly, uh, such as connecting a rail system from this area uh, back to the main nether hub. And by the way, I'm not going to be going to the nether hub today, because whenever I go there, I just, you know, end up rambling on for ages trying to explain everything. So I will have to do a separate server tour. But anyways, we're here now, and... What I'm going to be doing is setting up my base. I was waiting until 1.3 uh, because nearby there's some extreme hills so I can go and mine some emeralds. And also if there was going to be any terrain changes I wanted to get them. So um, I'm not sure if these jungle uh, extreme hills are the same as they would normally be. But I think they're pretty nice. And they are where I'm going to be building... Um, my base. I'm going to kind of build into there. Um, actually, to start off, I think I'll have a little hut down here. And the first thing I want to do is clear out a lot of this... Um... Oh yeah! <laughs> I'm on top of a, a jungle temple, by the way. Oh my god. Uh, just got interrupted by a phone call. But I think I was saying we're at a jungle temple here. So... Uh, yeah, that kind of proves it's 1.3, and we're just going to quickly go in here. I don't want to spend too much time uh, rambling on about it. I'm sure many of you have seen it before. Um, but normally when you come in here, let's see, I'll set up this uh, switch thing. Yeah, that's it. And uh, just pretend the wall is here. So you come in and... Uh, this block here is up, like you can't see through. But if you do the right combination of the levers, then uh, the block will be pulled away, and it reveals a chest down there, so that's pretty cool. Although, if you're in um, adventure mode, I don't think you can uh, break blocks. I don't know if you can place them, but if you got the chest, then you wouldn't be able to get out if that was a solid wall. So. That's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> but anyways, I think I got some emeralds in there. Uh, three of them. Oh, and if I fill that up, it'll break everything. But anyways, the other interesting part is uh, here. You come across here. Oh, and that should have arrows in it. And I actually got shot quite a few times by this thing. <laughs> oh, that should have shot me then. Sort of bounced off, I think. Okay. And another one back here. And a good supply of uh, mossy cobble, so that's good. So yeah, that's the, the jungle temple in a nutshell. But anyways, the first thing I want to do here is clear out a bunch of trees, and um, not the big ones, just the small ones and the ones along the ground, and, um, and just open up the... Uh, expose the grass as it were and only leave some of the big ones and I'll probably actually plant some big ones 
Uh, so yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I should probably make some shears. I don't have any iron here. I do have lots uh, in my other base, but in the interest of doing a clean start, I'll uh, just try and get some around here soon enough. Right, so I've been clearing out the rainforest here, uh, clear-cutting everything, and uh, yeah, I think it, it's looking pretty good so far. And it's basically given me... Why did I take damage then? Hmm. And it's basically given me some time to think about what I want to do in the area here. So, um, I think I'm going to have... Uh, well, I'm going to have the farms down here in between these trees, and I think I'll plant a bunch of uh, these 2 by 2 trees, some tall ones, and that will hopefully cover most of it as well as like a kind of umbrella, and just not have any of this lower stuff down here. And yeah, so I think that's all going to be down here, and I'm going to make a temporary hut as well, while I get all the main building done, which is going to happen up there. And what I'm thinking is... Um, I'm definitely going to need a mob trap, so that's going to be fairly high up, and that's going to be built into the mountain somehow. I don't know, I haven't really surveyed uh, the area up there. What there is, is... Uh, well, we'll just go up there. I'm going to go up to the middle there. Okay, here we are. I just came from down there. And, yeah, now I can show you what there is up here. You can see there's this one... A uh, mountain there with this overhanging cliff and uh, you know it looks pretty nice and then on this side there is another one so what I'm gonna do actually is clear out the trees uh, at this level here and also yeah just tidy up a bit and I think I'll have something connecting the two mountains and maybe have the mob trap on that or I'll have it just built into one, sort of like sticking out of it somehow. I don't know. Uh, either way, it's going to be up here somewhere, somewhere. Maybe up there, because it's a little bit higher. But yeah, it's kind of hard to see with all the... <laughs> Look at that sheep over there. <laughs> Whoa. Why is he doing that? Hmm. So one thing here on the server is I get a lot of sound delay with certain items, like uh, when I put a torch down, I don't hear the sound until about a second later. So you may have noticed that and thought it was to do with the video editing or whatever, but it isn't. That's actually what I'm, what I hear through the speakers. So I put down a torch, and then the sound comes like a second later. Doop. <laughs> So that's kind of ridiculous. But it doesn't seem to happen with all the uh, blocks. Like if I destroy a leaf block, it happens instantly. And uh, however, if I cut down a tree, I think the sound is delayed. So I'm not sure why there would be a difference there. Oh no, I think that was instant. Try again. Oh yeah. So it's just mainly torches. <laughs> Oh, I'm dying of starvation. I actually came very close to dying earlier. Oh, I got some apples. That's good. And, uh, yeah, I just wasn't filming it. It's quite annoying. Um, I use DX Story to record. D. Dick Story, or whatever it's called. I think that's how you're supposed to pronounce it. But, um, yeah, it, uh, when you hit the record button, it doesn't always record if you're hitting like a bunch of other keys on your keyboard so that's kind of annoying it's not as sensitive as uh, Fraps was for that hmm oh it's you 
So yeah, this is the new area. And uh, like I said, I've been on here a few months already, so I do have lots of supplies. And I'm going to need to go and get them, and bring some of them here at least. Uh, but what I want to do is start using a portal. There is one around here, but it's kind of far away. Uh, so I think the main portal will be somewhere up there. Um, I'm not too sure. But I'm going to go and find the other one, destroy it, and um, bring the obsidian blocks over here, and uh, put them down and see what happens. And I wish I had some fish. I wish, I wish I had some fish. Go on, meow. Meow for me. Typical cat. Okay. Here we go. I'll just put a little bit more light around here. Okay, here we go. Oh, that looks good. There's a path there. Is there? Oh, it's the one I made before. And if I go back through, is it just going to generate a new portal? Or connect to the one I was at? Oh! Yeah, I made a new portal. So, what I'm going to have to do is destroy this portal uh, go and find the one I just made, go back through it, and uh, do the whole F3 thing and finding the right coordinates. Uh, yeah, so I'll do that. So this time i got to do the coordinates thing. So I'm at uh, 28383403. Okay, so I've just come through the portal. It's actually uh, many hours later now, but... Um, where I have to put the new one is at 354425 and where are we now? 364398, uh, so not that far away um, where is it? Yeah, 425, so over here and 354 so luckily I've already got a bridge here so somewhere around here and oh maybe I can put it in here hmm I don't know I'll uh I'll dig this area out of it and decide where to put the portal so this pick here this uh efficiency 4 on breaking 3 cuts through netherrack like butter <laughs> That is crazy. <laughs> kind of a waste, but uh, pretty fun. So I'm hearing some gas spawn, and actually I don't want to spend very long building, so... Uh, if I open this up, there's probably a room in here. Yeah, I can just put the portal in here, and that way it will be nice and protected, and uh, I don't really have to build anything, so it'll make everything a lot quicker. And it should connect, so... Mm, this is tough, because it's three wide and the portal is four wide. That's really annoying. <laughs> and here it's three wide as well, three wide there. Mm, why? Why? Uh, yeah, so... God, that's the cat banging against everything. <laughs> Meowing, yep, thank you, Maya. Thank you. Yep. And, uh, yeah, it's annoying me so much, this three three wide thing, that I think I'm just going to have to do what I was originally going to do and have the portal up here. <laughs> Maya. No, it's not going to make any sense up here either, because, uh... Man... <laughs> Because it's three wide up here as well, or this is five wide. Oh. Okay, whatever. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out later. Um, 
I'll put it right. Mm. God damn. Okay, hopefully this isn't too far away. And... What? Why am I out in the middle of a field? What? Uh, so maybe the one I made is just a bit too far away. So I uh, will uh, disable this somehow. I guess it's easy just to uh, destroy a block. And I've had enough digging obsidian today. I've ended up with a lot more than I started with. And I guess I'll just have to stick the portal... Um, here, as much as I hate to. I just really can't figure out where to to fit it in. Okay, uh, third attempt. Oh, looking good. Yes, finally. So I'm back uh, here in the jungle, where I want to be, and if I go back through, where is it going to connect to this time? Yeah, it connects to the new one. Okay, so that means I can remove um, the other one that's up there, and this one as well. So, uh, loss of time, but gain of obsidian. <laughs> Okay, so I uh, got the portal working, and uh, I went back to my other base and picked up some good stuff. So I got some diamonds, gold, uh, iron, redstone, and I got a nice uh, fortune 3 pick. So that's really nice because it means I can just break all these open. Oh yeah, you get XP now as well, so that will allow me to level up for my axe. And I need to secure this area here, you know, put down a bunch of torches because I'm pretty open to attack. So I'm going to spend some time doing that, maybe start clearing out there, and then uh, that will probably be it. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hmm. How do I do this again? A book and two diamonds. Yeah, there we go. Okay, enchanting table. I'll just uh, plonk that down there for now. And I've only got four levels, so uh, that's what I'm going to try and get. Okay, here we go. Well, efficiency one. Yeah, that's pretty good because it'll be faster. Okay, time to clear this out. Here's the first mob I've seen in a while. Caught me unprepared. So I'll have to shovel him in the face. <laughs> bye bye. I got him. So I guess he spawned over here somewhere. So, oh yeah, getting quite dark over here. Ooh, Enderman too. Uh, I'm not going to try and battle the Enderman. Yeah, okay. Right, I've got a sword here. No problem. Whoop! <laughs> Man, he was like properly camouflaged in the uh, in the vines there. Camouflaged. Oh, can he see me? Through the vines here? Oh, yes. <laughs> Whoa, I think I've got some kind of super lag going on. Ah. Daytime is coming, finally. Okay, so I uh, spent some time clearing out the area here, so we will have a look at that. 
and as you can see yeah once again with all the uh, shrubbery removed it actually looks really good I think um, I'm looking over into the distance there and one thing I'm noticing is because everything's so dense you have a hard time distinguishing between um, you know the different trees whereas when they're more separated like that uh, you know you can sort of tell which is which so I think over time I'll probably thin out uh, a lot of the forest back there just to make it look a lot less busy and so we'll just go up here and have a look down uh, yeah I know it's not too exciting and um, yeah one good thing is that because I've been on this map for so long I have a bunch of stuff so I have a load of redstone and I am going to be using it uh, I have to do a little rail station first of all uh, because when I connect the rail to this nether portal here I need to put a stop halfway through uh, to stop at a nether wart farm I believe it's uh, Suzuma's nether wart farm but that is kind of along the way and also I want to work on the rail system um, well, not, not so much the rail system, because it's mostly... Oh no, it's not mostly a diagonal line. What I'm going to be doing is following the contour of the land in the nether. Um, but that's the kind of thing I want to build quickly while I'm watching other videos and uh, do a time lapse of, so... I think I'll do that. Oh right, I come back here. So, probably a good idea to torch up over here. Uh, but while this episode is uploading, I'm not really going to be able to play. Uh, it takes more than half a day, so... <laughs> oh, actually, I think this episode might be a bit shorter. So maybe it won't be too bad. But I'm going to be doing a single-player uh, LP episode. So that will be the next video. Hmm. Oh yeah, okay, I'm going to try and jump onto the vines and crouch while I'm on them, and that should uh, stop me. Yep, works. Good. Okay, and there's a big cave there, which I'm not going down yet. <laughs> okay, I fell down the hole. And I think I'll probably do a lot of logging as well. <laughs> chop, chop, chopping down trees. I am actually a Canadian, so I think I have the right to chop down trees. <laughs> it's in my blood. Ooh, that must be a cougar then. But yeah, I got a good feeling about this area. Uh, I got a few ideas in my head already of what's going to be around. Certainly a mob trap up there or up there. It's not yet to be decided. Uh, in case you have a preference, I'll call that A and B. Even though you can't really tell what's going on from here. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's it for now. Uh, yeah, it wasn't a very exciting episode, but uh, because it's been so long, I was having a really hard time recording uh, a recap of everything that's happened. So I thought it'd be easier just to start fresh. And uh, I'm glad I did, because this is looking good. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.